You're watching The Randy and Krista Show. I'm Randy Alvarez. And I'm Krista Arecchio. And this is news that makes you healthier. Okay, bone broth today. Bone broth. Now, we have the New York Times bestselling author. Mm -hmm. uh, you brought her in. Dr. Kellyanne's uh, bone broth diet. Well, this is not. She's yeah. a doctor, naturopathic physician. Uh -huh. Has also a master's degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, great credentials. And she, uh, you know, I talked to her in the green room probably gave one of the best compelling arguments to why everyone should be taking and taking advantage of bone broth. I would say definitely the most compelling argument for bone broth. She's my fellow Jersey Italian girl, so she delivers it with such passion and zest because of her experience of how people's lives have been transformed with this one magic elixir, is what I used to call it to my clients. Now, she's hot right now in the news. So she's we were all talking, over national media. Been on Dr. Oz. She's on The Doctors. I mean, she's mm -hmm. on all Good the Morning big America, shows. Good the Morning Today America. Show. Really, she's um, like a regular on GMA, I think. Okay, I didn't so know that's that. good. Yes, yeah, so she's very, very good. I've seen mm -hmm. her around. I love her. Uh, I haven't read her book yet, and okay. I told her I was a little skeptical with bone broth, but I'm sold. I, I've been dabbling in it, and frankly, when I do, I feel like I wake up. I have less facial inflammation, like less bags, yeah. things like that. Well, I'm going to ask her about inflammation in the interview, and I think you know the book is great and it's simple, and I like that it's 21 days because it's something that anyone can do. And you know, now we have a new year and we can do our resolutions with something that's attainable and you can okay. do anything for 21 days. I know her age, she mm -hmm. told me. Mm -hmm. She looks 10 years yeah. younger, for sure. Mm -hmm. I said, and she's done nothing. She claims right? no that's, lasers, right. no uh, No injections, none of that. Things. Like it's all through diet and health. Yeah, and she's really doing a great job. Rebuilding your natural collagen. And it's nice to see somebody that walks their talk. Yeah. Um, so she says mm -hmm. that people, that she sees people like miracle stories, people mm -hmm. that had, you know, achy problems. In fact, she herself, she says she hit a wall mm -hmm. with her in, in her clinic. She was eating right, doing everything, but at 40, all of a sudden, she says she can't, she couldn't lose weight, mm -hmm. she didn't feel so good, I guess problems sleeping, and because of bone broth, mm -hmm. and a good diet, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, is it always combined with good diet? You know? It has to be. I think you have to bloom where you're planted, depending on where your diet currently is, and not take on too many changes all at once, because that's overwhelming, and we set ourselves up to fail. So it's like if you do nothing different, and you start to add in the broth, then naturally you're remineralizing, you're rebuilding collagen, and you're going to start to make different food choices. And it's a natural process versus, huh, I don't have as many cravings for sugar or bread or those types of things. Um, but of course, if you can keep the diet clean along with that, yes, you go a lot further, a lot faster. Do you take bone broth yes, every have, day? So every day you're doing it? I don't know about every day, but I want to say three or four times a week for sure. I have 20 containers of it in my freezer right now. I haven't made it in a long time. This interview is inspiring me to get back to it's winter time, get back to making it again. You know, the problem is like you, you feel healthy, right? Mm -hmm. You're a healthy person. Mm -hmm. It's probably tough to feel a difference when you add in something like bone broth. Is it? It's not for me because okay. I think whenever you're like functioning at a high pace and you have a lot going on, stress is going to leach minerals. And for me, bone broth is like an instant replacement of those minerals and it, it calms me, it gives me energy, and it's, it's the perfect food for someone like me. You know, warming, calming, refill your mineral supply. Okay, good. We're going to mm -hmm. go to your interview with her. Yeah, let's get right to the now. interview. You're watching The Randy and Krista Show, news that makes you healthier. I'm Krista Arecchio, and today my guest is New York Times bestselling author of Dr. Kellyanne's Bone Broth Diet. She is also the host of the most popular PBS special, 21 Days to a Slimmer, Younger You. Let's welcome Dr. Kellyanne Petrucci. Hello, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Kellyanne, I'm so glad we finally yes. made this happen. Welcome, thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Two Jersey girls, all about health. <laughs> Two Jersey Italian. Italian girls. Oh, now we just out. have to make sure we don't talk too much, right? That's what, that's what I said. We have to like give each other a sign or something. Totally. <laughs> sure. But we can talk all day about things that we both love, which mm. are bone broth and gut health. Yes. And so I want to start off because th I thought this book was excellent. Thank this is you. This is your first book mm -hmm. on bone broth, and now you have your new one that is I just do. out. Congratulations. Thank the you. Cookbook. Thank you. 
So bone broth is all the rage these days, right? It's super trendy. And you know, 10 years ago, we were just you know, really trying to get people to understand what it even was. Mm. So give me a little bit of a background of how you discovered bone broth, how it helped your patients, and what, what's the trajectory to have you become Dr. Bone Broth? Well, I actually am called Dr. Bone Broth, and I'm proud <laughs> of that. And it's really for a very... Um, heartfelt reason that this all came about. And that is, like so many people, I turned 40 and I hit a wall. Mm. Here's what happened. All of a sudden, my hair was no longer thick and shiny like it was most of my life. Mm. My skin didn't look good anymore. And I could not lose weight no matter what I was doing. And weight wasn't a, a big issue for me my whole life. And all of a sudden, I started getting a gut right? The belly bulge. The, the belly bulge. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't feeling like myself anymore. And I was tired more often. And just there were signs of what I call fast aging. Mm -hmm. My body started going into rapid aging system. And then I started having uh, some, some constipation and bloating and achy joints and a lot of these things uh, that are so common that we see in practice. I thought, how is this that I employ all of these good resources, all of this knowledge, and yet here I am, bam, mm -hmm. smacked right into the wall. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let me ask some colleagues what they think, because I can't figure this out. What's going mm -hmm. on? They said, well, you know, Kellyanne, you're 40, of course. This is what happens. You know, you have children now. You're a mother. These, these things are part and parcel of all of that. Mm -hmm. And you know, Krista, I thought about it, and I said, you know what? Just like I did with almost everything else in my life, I, I thought, I, I got to figure this out because it doesn't make sense. How I got into health, Krista, from the very, the inroad was that when I was a very young woman, I had terrible menstrual cramps, could barely function. My mother didn't know what to do. She took me to the doctors and they said, you know what? You have something called endometriosis. Mm. And guess what? You probably can't have kids. So I had this messaging at a very young age, and yeah. it was like a hit in the gut. So I got slammed into the wall at 40. Yeah. I got hit into the gut mm -hmm. when I was young. And when I was young and this happened and I had this information, all I ever wanted was children. And when you come from an Italian family like we do, mm -hmm. what do they talk about? Oh, yeah. Kids and food. Uh -huh. Kids and food. Kids and food. <laughs> That's about it. All right, yeah. That's it. So mm -hmm. I knew, you know, I... I'm not going to feel aimless. See, my patients come to me, Krista, they feel aimless. They feel lost. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to turn. And hopeless, right? Because they've been hopeless. given a diagnosis of you can't have kids or you can't do this or deal with it and decline as time goes deal by, with it which and is decline. why we employ food as medicine and really how to heal. And I love how you say the turnstiles of our lives because we yes. never have it. We, we, you know, we're constantly all humbled by living in a human body. Yes, we are so humbled by that. And you know, sometimes you have to really step into yourself and say, I have to figure this out and not go outward, go inward. Mm -hmm. So it's a really important message <clears throat> that I had to learn mm -hmm. was to go inward and not outward. And when I was a young woman and I said, you know what? The options they're giving me is all of these medications and all of these surgeries, and I want children, I don't know where to go, I'm lost, I'm aimless, I'm confused, I'm scared, I'm hopeless. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do when I sit down with a patient. I feel that. Mm -hmm. I feel it on a deep level because I know what that feels like yeah. to say, I want something so bad, how do I get it? Mm -hmm. So the same thing happened, I figured that out, I figured out food. Mm -hmm. So my answer at that time, as a young woman, was food, and thank God I found out, mm -hmm. because now I have two beautiful boys. Mm -hmm. Yes. So here so I was, amazing. faced with another challenge through another turnstile of my life. When I turned 40, mm -hmm. couldn't get results. And here's what I found out. There's something that your body needs a lot of as you start advancing in age, and it's called collagen. Collagen. We've Collagen. talked about that on this show quite often, you guys. It's an important element. But before mm -hmm. I get into collagen, if I may, I have to talk a little bit about why my body wasn't getting results, why I felt constipated, bloating, why my skin didn't look good, why I was noticing wrinkles, why my hair was starting to really lose its luster, mm -hmm. why my fatigue levels were higher, why this effervescence that I had, this energy that I had and I was known for, mm -hmm. it started dropping. Why did this happen? Well, there's three things that every person needs to know, and it's the most important thing I'm going to say on the show. The most important thing. Yeah. In order to get what you want, in order to step away from feeling aimless, step away from feeling hopeless, if you were to take every patient that I ever saw and you were to put them in a football field and you were to dilute down what is it that eventually got them results, it was three things. 
-hmm. The the first. The first. They must, 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 must heal their gut. Number one, heal the gut. Yes. Number two, get that inflammation out of the body. Kill it. Get it out. And three, teach the body to become a natural fat burner. That is the premise and the core and the heart behind the bone broth diet. It's why I wrote it because I know that's essential. It's why I wrote the follow-up cookbook to help provide foods that do all of that. They're engineered to do all of those things. That's why those three things are necessary. And guess what? Hmm. When you find something as a clinician, as a doctor that does all three of those things, my God, you pay attention. Mm -hmm. You pay attention. Mm -hmm. And guess what does that? Bone broth. Bone broth. Mm -hmm. Every day, all day. Here's what I hear in my practice. And this is why I'm so enthused. This is why I literally, and I can say this proudly, I made bone broth a revolution. Here's why. I had a patient, Maris. Maris came to me and she said, Dr. Kellyanne, I am a prisoner of my own home. I have such Mm -hmm. bad Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. I am so locked into my home. I am happily married, yet I don't want my husband to come near me. Mm. I I can't believe what's happening to my body. I'm aging quicker than I want to. She was miserable. Mm. And a prisoner of her own body in her own home. And, and how many times have we heard that? Entire changes. Countless times. Countless so, so, times. so the bottom line is, what she was telling me is, I am desperately unhappy. I desperately want joy. I don't have it. I don't know where to get it. So here's what happened. Maris came back in 21 days, and I will have to explain to you why I say 21 days. It's a critical part of this understanding. Mm -hmm. In 21 days, Maris came back, and she said to me, walked in the room, and all she did was look at me with these devilish eyes, and she said, you mean to tell me it was about food all along? Yay, the healing power of food. And so she was on... Tell us. She was on the bone broth diet. 21 days. And 21 days. And she actually did many series of the 21 days, which a lot of people do. Right. A lot of people do this. So it's really important Mm -hmm. to give your body what it is begging and starving for and then see what happens. See the magic unfold for yourself because it did for Maris. I had another woman. Tracy Mm -hmm. came in and Tracy said, you know what, Dr. Kellyanne, I had to quit my job because I have shingles, I have tried everything, so I'm thinking it must be my job, I don't know what else. I am in such a state in my life right now because I can't get rid of these shingles. Mm -hmm. Well, what would you do if I told you that 21 days later they were 50, it was 50% gone? What would you do if I told you after two series of the 21 days, Mm -hmm. it was gone? And it's amazing to think how quickly and effectively we can shift our whole experience of life by improving our health. So let's let's dig in. You know, what are they doing for these 21 days? Yes. And then I have a really important collagen question yep, for you. Yep, yep. Okay. So here's what they're doing. Over a period of 21 days, and I said I have to speak to the concept of 21 days, this is not because I love the number 21. Mm-hmm. This is not a marketing stunt or ploy at all. Mm-hmm. One of the things I learned studying at a very prestigious clinic, the Paracelsus Clinic, with a very esteemed doctor, one of the most esteemed doctors in the world, Dr. Rao, mm. is that you have life cycles in your body. Your cells have life cycles. The life cycle of your intestinal cells are 21 days. So then, Mm. if that's true, Mm -hmm. and your intestinal cells turn over in 21 days, does it not then make sense that if you give your body the right raw material for the course of that life cycle, you've got- You get new cells. You got a new- Healthier cells. New thing to deal with. Yes. Whole new situation. So I'm so- stoked about the new cookbook that's out, Dr. Kellyanne's Bone Broth Diet Cookbook. It is the accompanying book to the New York Times bestseller, The Bone Broth Diet. And if you were to ever, if you were to say, Dr. Kellyanne, I can, I want one book. What do I get? I'd Mm -hmm. say, get the cookbook because I go through the whole diet in the cookbook. Okay as well as so many rich, beautiful bone broth recipes and fat-burning foods. But there's one component that makes it so extraordinary and so special, and that is I help you discover something that I created, which is called mini fasting. Do not let the word fasting scare you. This is the most comfortable fasting you will ever have in your life with the same results. That is two non-consecutive days a week. You are sipping on bone broth. You have a light meal at seven o'clock. Pow. And what do I mean by pow? You get rid of this. 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 this. Uh Stored 
fat. Remember, I made those promises. You are going to become a natural fat burner. You're going to heal the gut. You're going to reduce inflammation. That's what you get. Improve your skin. Improve your skin. Beautiful, radiant skin. Because you know what? We're doing a lot of with the skin. Mm. We're doing a lot of shots and you know all of those kind of things. And there's no judgment here. All I'm saying is yeah. it's not about concentrating on one area of the skin. It's about the overall luster and demeanor of the skin. Mm -hmm. That's the foundation. That's the basic premise of what you need for true beauty. That's true beauty. I love how you describe bone broth as liquid Botox or liquid Spanx. And, and it really is true. You <laughs> notice such up. a difference. And now we're coming into a new year. And I know that a lot of you guys don't like to fast or it's, it's, it's taking something away from us when we think, oh, we can't eat. And we have a four day bone broth fast in our gut programs. Mm -hmm. And Fabulous. so now it's a new year. It's the perfect time to just rejuvenate no matter where you are, whether you're suffering or not, if you're already Ready healthy to get to the next few levels. So we're going to put a link to your book on our website because you include bonuses that go with your new yes. cookbook. So yes. we'll put that there at thewholejourney.com slash bone broth cookbook. And I'm going to embark on this challenge and my husband has already agreed to in the Wonderful. new year. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Now we always leave our viewers with some mm. final Final, final action items. So if you were just to give a couple of things that they can do right now after watching this, what's the most important? So the most important thing that you can do is get bone broth into your life. You know I'm going to say that. Yeah. One or two cups a day okay. will make a huge difference in your life. Super, super important. I also have collagen broths and powders on oh, my website. I love this. Yes. I really do. It's, I mean, when we're traveling and it's busy... Yeah. It's the sourced very well. This is an extremely healthy, well thought out product. You rip it open, you stick it in a mug with some hot water, and it's absolutely lovely. It tastes like grandma's chicken soup, yeah. chicken broth. You will love it. It will make you know so much difference. I and love the last that it has thing, fat. It has it coconut has oil in it, you guys, yes, which we always fat. I have you put in your broth. And that's what I was going to come to. My last statement mm -hmm. would be: get those bad oils out of your home. Get yes. them out of your home. You want the one-two punch, bone broth, healthy fats. You are looking good. And let me tell you how easy this is. I mean, you can do this yourself if you want to. You can do it inexpensively and quickly. Get a slow cooker, right? Mm -hmm. You can do it in a stock pot, but a slow cooker is my favorite way. Throw some bones in there, celery, onions, carrots. You can even break them with your hands. Bam, bam, chop the onion, throw it in there. Put water about an inch over it. Put the lid on the slow cooker. Turn it on. Bye-bye. Go yeah. take care of your kids. Go to work. <laughs> run around. Do whatever you want. It's that simple. It is. Grass-fed, high-quality, pasture-raised bones, right? Well, the health of the animal definitely comes on to you. You have to remember that, mm -hmm. that re reciprocity, so, so to speak, in health. Yes. So it always transfers. Let food be thy medicine. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Thank Kelly. You. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Randy and Krista Show. News that makes you healthier. We'll be right back. You're watching The Randy and Krista Show. I'm Randy Alvarez. I'm here with Krista Recchio. Excellent uh, interview, both from Jersey. You can see you're laughing a little bit. <laughs> Do you love her fun. passion, yes. right? How she's like, this goes away, this goes away. That, it's, just, it's so cute, but and she's it's walking true. her talk. I saw she's her walk in her here. I, knew, I, I When I heard her age, I couldn't believe it, actually. Uh -huh. And I'm not just siding with her. It was really remarkable. Yeah. And she gives bone broth the credit. Mm -hmm. I think she even said that she was a little skeptical at first, but when she saw what it was doing with her, with her patients, right? it was unbelievable. Yeah, and to, to just to have the ability, I don't think there's any other food out there. You know, I'm the food as medicine girl. That's been my whole thing yeah, yeah, yeah. for years. And it's like, there's if there's one food out there that can cover the broad spectrum of helping you heal your gut, helping the nervous system by balancing the minerals, helping balance the hormones and the endocrine system, relieving inflammation. Like So now we're working with the immune system. It is that one food that covers all aspects of physical health. And I think that's its biggest claim to fame is, you know, we're all busy or, you know, we have a lot going on. We want to cook, but we don't know what to do. And if there's one thing we can do and it's simple, it's to add broth in. And especially in the winter, it's a lot easier to do. you make do. your own broth? I haven't made my own broth in a while because I buy packets, Lance's or? broth. He's my friend, the flavor chef, and he has a place called the Brothery. And I go hang out with him over there with these huge urns of Where broth, is this? and it's all from local, you know, pasture-raised animals. Tell me about this. You do this I'm every single time. I'm going to show you a picture time. I posted on Instagram. Diego? 
Yeah, yeah, he's in his his place is right in Vista. His... May I ask why you never told me about this guy? <laughs> I don't know. We need to have outings and take this show on the road and go to the brothery and like I feel show like you, don't you let guys me in how on some of the good made. stuff. So bone broth. Also, she has her own packets that are convenient. Yeah, I haven't tried this yet, but I was really excited that she brought um, uh, broth to go. It's awesome because it comes. It's it's grass fed bones. This comes from grass fed collagen, so from cows, and there's coconut oil in there. So I'm having all of my people add coconut oil to their broth, as well as sea salt and the good stuff. So yeah. So you this want to fight be, over this? this I, I already you asked you for it. You, you can said, have really? It. Yeah. Well, that's that's you nice of it. you, Krista, because your skin already looks good. Thank you. I you have look enough refreshed. broth in the container. So uh, so she has a 21 day program. I like what she says about beauty. Beauty is great skin. One of the great skin. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, one of the things that makes and adds to beauty. And she says noticeably, mm -hmm. people can see the difference in their skin right away, and their hair. And their nails. Right, skin, hair, and nails. This is everything that we need to, to rebuild collagen. And also because you're also getting it from the inside out. You're healing the gut, you're having less inflammation, you're lowering insulin, you're able to lose weight. So it is really beauty from the inside out as well. When you balance your hormones, that shows on your skin as well. When you heal the thyroid, that shows on your skin as well. So it's... So you are a clinical nutritionist. Mm -hmm. Do you tell everyone to drink bone broth? Yeah. For, so you do. Everyone can drink bone broth. There are some people, just a small subset of people that I've worked with that are very, very sick that can't handle the bone broth because they can handle the, the, the glutamine in their system. They're, they have an incredibly leaky gut. They have histamine intolerance. Glutamine turns into glutamate, raises glutamate levels. This is just a small subset of people that we have to just get gut healing in a that's different rare. way. Very it's rare. very it's rare. rare. It's very rare. For 99% of the people, they will thrive off of broth. But in even those people, we heal their gut in a different way and then they thrive off she of broth. She says three times a day. That's what I heard her say she when you were interviewing her. She said one to two cups a day one to two I cups she a said day three cups oh that was I, on her fast her mini fast when you're doing her yeah yeah as a general rule one to two cups a day be great you guys tr what if you swapped out your coffee with broth and you did that just that could for you put the broth in your day. coffee i'm sure you could i'm Mine. sure you could but i don't think that would taste very well <laughs> i don't think i would try and she it. says it's kind of like chicken soup like really good chicken soup yeah that's all this, it is is like pack. chicken soup and it's so funny to see this trend and it's all the rage and it's right and I just remember in my office like 10 years ago getting and, and I used to consult for our local seaside market you know and have yeah. them bring in new healthy products they said what is this bone broth stuff that you want us to bring in and I did grocery store tours and I said I promise you it'll sell and one client at a time I'm like explaining you know the extolling the virtues of bone broth and please get out of my office right now go to seaside market and buy this bone broth I love and, it. right and now it's like we don't have to do that because so you've been doing it 10 years you've known about bone broth for 10 years. So is that yeah. one of the reasons why you haven't urged me, uh -huh. since we know each other, to do uh -huh. bone broth? I think I've urged you to do bone broth at least you, once or twice Once before. or twice is not enough. But you're just getting into the bulletproof say, coffee now. That's so true. first like things first, broth. and then- Oh, you're easing me in. I think I'm gonna get you bone broth. Uh, I'm gonna get I'm you a supply of broth, okay? I will tell you. I will deliver it to your okay. door. And you'll drink okay. one to two cups a day before the I next show. I made you three or four cups okay, a day. Okay, that's fine. That's okay, fine. Okay, good. Look, I, and we'll do a follow-up and uh -huh. see see what it does for me. Maybe it'll make me nicer uh -huh. because I know some of your followers think I interrupt you too much. They so love I'm you trying, now. That was in the early show. Oh, the early show. Uh -huh. I'm trying to be as nice as possible, not give my opinions. <laughs> I don't say anything negative about vegans. Uh, no. I made a joke about a vegan, I guess, and that was terrible, and I apologize. So... <laughs> <laughs> bone broth diet. Get the book. Everybody the should read Dr. Diet and her, her and the cookbook. Bone broth diet cookbook. And she also has bonuses of like how you can go along with it. So extra okay. things. And we put that through our website, thewholejourney.com slash bone broth cookbook. I'm getting the cookbook. I want to thank you uh, for always hosting a great show. You did a great job with her today. Thank you for and, being uh, an excellent co-host, Randy. <laughs> it's always a lot I'm of fun. Try not to upset your followers, <laughs> your tribe, right? Yeah. All right. You've been watching the Randy and Krista show. I'm Randy Alvarez. I'm Krista Arecchio. Thank you for being here, you guys. We wish you, wish you a beautiful new year.